Welcome in, folks. My name is Cybex. I'm going to try to take you through a little tour of the basics of City Skylines. Um, thought about titling this just like City Skylines for Dummies, uh, but then I realized that I was one of those. So um, we're, we're still in the um, working phases of that. Anyhow, just wanted to kind of take you on a tour of the city. Uh, so we are uh, the city's game, and uh, we're going to jump into probably one of the most basic vanilla maps that there is, Blackwoods. So I um, want to kind of show you guys kind of how I get started in a city, and uh, we'll take you in and take a look at it. All right, guys. So here we are. Um, just so everybody kind of gets an understanding, first and foremost, where we're kind of headed with this video. So the whole point of this is for me to kind of shoot this all in one take. Um, what I kind of want to try to accomplish is giving you a full look at starting a city um, and almost give you the feel of what it would look like if you were on our stream, but without the... Um, uh, without like you know community input and whatnot so you're gonna get a lot of ums and a lot of thoughts uh kind of while i'm building everything uh and yeah so we'll just kind of take it one step at a time and we'll get started here so this is the black woods map everything you'll see is in vanilla today so there's no mods no assets nothing at all um this is exactly how you'd load in if you downloaded the game today and started out so we've got seventy thousand in the bank we've got um, a huge demand for residential and we've got an it's an intersection coming straight in from the from the interstate that moves straight through the region so we're gonna try to bring in we're not gonna try to we are gonna bring in our base road we're gonna connect this here and then that'll also that'll unlock our um, one way so what I'm gonna do here what I like to do is and this is kind of pre-planned but what I like to do when I'm bringing in a base or a road straight from the intersection or from the interstate and we've got these like high traffic roads is I like to go with a roundabout. So I'm literally just gonna build a base cross just like this. And then I'm gonna take my roundabout road and I'm gonna build it just like this. So I'm based in the US, so all of my traffic is right hand drive. So I'm gonna build this just like this. Uh, ideally, we would like this to be a little bit higher density, um, but we don't need to go with six lanes and um, with base game, this is the best option that we have. Uh, I don't mean to make it sound like you can't there we go I don't mean to make it sound like you can't be functional with this but this is where we're gonna start at least uh, we don't have highways or anything like that just yet so we're gonna go this route so we're gonna have a road that comes off just like this and goes out of the city and the road that comes in just like this maybe Let's see if we can get it to cooperate and comes into the city just like that so we're gonna have roads just like that coming into the city. Most important thing is trying to help manage our traffic while we're building. Um, so we wanna manage traffic before we have any traffic. Um, so anyhow, we're gonna build here. All right, we're gonna go uh, kind of big on the roundabout just so we know what we've got kind of coming in and that they have plenty of room to travel and make decisions on their uh, exit point ahead of time. So we're gonna build a road off this way we're gonna build a road off this way, and we're gonna build a road off this way. And then before we go any further, oh, that road's a little bit longer. That'll be okay. We'll make it work. We don't. We're not. We don't have a limited money, so we're not to bulldoze and roads and things like that. So what we want to do is try to zoom out to this level as best we can, and we want to take a look at what resources and what we have to work with on the map. And we can't do that yet. Just kidding. <laughs> so. Me messing up and stumping myself is also part of hanging out on our stream. So we're gonna go just like this. Um, we're not gonna bulldoze roads because that is a bad habit. Early that wastes a lot of money. So we're gonna bring a suburb over this way. I happen to know on this map that we have a lot of resources available to us over on this island here. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go just like this. And since we're going to kind of be building our downtown area on this island, the biggest thing we can do is zone grids early. Grids are boring and they're hard to watch sometimes, but they are super efficient. All right, so that's we've already spent 20 grand on roads. So we need to slow down a little bit. Biggest thing is, again, another big thing is keeping an eye, keeping an eye, an eye on our budget. So we're going to go ahead and zone a little bit of our um, residential so we can get some peeps moving in. 
and the easiest option for power early on is going to be air at least that i find um, let me also clarify that with everybody early on this is not meant to be the, the one way to do anything um, there will be i'm sure plenty of comments about how much better we could do it or what we could do that would improve the uh, layout that we're building on um, the goal of this is simply to show you kind of how I do things and give you something to go off of and I hope that you can take over from there and improve it for your own self all right so when you're placing your water big thing to look at is the flow of the water so to do that we'll press play so we have water rolling this way so what's important about that is we can build our water down at the end of the, this end of the island here and then we can run our pipes straight on in and go ahead and cover this whole area and know that we can build our sewer down at this end and the water will flow out of our town and away rather than the sewage flowing towards the um, towards the water intake so for now we're just going to simply have an outlet pipe that is right here dumping poopy water into our water f source that again is why it's important that we watch that the water is flowing this direction flowing out of our town and away from our inlet pipes so we're going to just press the play button and watch some of our sims hopefully move into our city for this we'll throw it into high speed and we'll see them start to come in so just like that we've got sims popping up everywhere we have more demand than what we've built so we're going to keep zoning you don't want to overzone because you want to be in a situation where if anybody were to move out or abandon a home, it'll be refilled uh, by more Sims wanting to move in, uh, especially early on when you don't have uh, public services and things like that covering all of your uh, covering all of your city. We've unlocked the economy panel, so that'll be even more important for watching this type of stuff. We can see where we're spending money and how much money it's costing us on our budget every week. Obviously, right now we're not in the green, so or in the black, so we're gonna definitely want to keep an eye on that. All right, so pause the game real quick. So now that we're to this point, we've got a huge demand that's increased. These demand bars down here are huge to watch. So we've got a, uh, our, our residential demand is, demand is pretty well taken care of. So we're actually gonna de zone these three blocks here because we've still got even more open space throughout all of this. So we're gonna leave that just like that. And then we're going to, and actually maybe may even de zone that so that these will fill in. And then we're gonna start working on some commercial property. So commercial is super important that they have high traffic, as you would, I'm sure, assume. So high traffic is key, and we're going to make sure that we're not too close to this roundabout because we don't want to bottleneck it. We don't want people coming out of this and then wanting to turn in right here. Uh, and the same thing is we don't want people traveling toward this close to the roundabout just to turn out uh, and, and messing up traffic a bit. So we're going to go with that there, and then we'll also take and zone again with uh, having some respect for the kind of the boundary of the roundabout. We'll zone some more industry or uh, commercial there, and we'll start building our industry over this way for now. We may take it and expand it further off of the island eventually, but for now we want to just keep it as far away from our sims and their little happy communities as we can. I like to leave our industry plenty of room to grow. so. Um, we're gonna lay out our roads here for our industry just like this giving the, some of this, these guys here room to grow and then some tighter spaces for the others a little bit further up we'll go just like that for now all right so because the big thing is is like we want to we want to open up access for our sims to commute past our commercial areas and then over into the industry areas so we'll even have some commercial probably in these areas um, and along this side of this road as well so we'll lay out some industry over here we'll probably start with something like this and we've got a good amount of commercial we'll go ahead and go commercial right here as well lining this road on the way out of the residential neighborhood we'll go ahead and press play again and get it up to a quick sim speed there we go so our commercial is filling in one important detail we haven't got to is laying water for this main artery road that's going to be going through our city as well as over here into our industry they are going to want water and where there's a demand for water there will also be a demand for um, power obviously so we're going to run some power here between these guys 
and some power here between these guys. Remember, we've just zoned the interior of these blocks, so we're going to go and run the power right on over to the outside, but we have run it to the outside of these blocks, so we'll leave it there. So it leaves maximum room for them to expand. Um, so this will need to come down here to connect to the outside of the city as well, or this, this commercial area. So hopefully this commercial area will fill in here. Uh, our demand for water has already surpassed. Oh, no, it hasn't. We haven't. We don't have power running to it. See, we're remembering things live on s stream on video. All right, so we'll connect that to power so that these sims are all getting water. And for now, we'll go ahead and connect this just like this so that everything is getting connected in. Now, these guys are also going to need their sewage taken care of, so we'll connect the sewer pump in. And that should, you should see all of those sewage bubbles evaporate just like that. Our sewer problems are gone. Okay, so right now all of our demand is completely satisfied. We have literally none. So we're going to hang out and we're not going to make anything historical right now. We're just going to hang out and kind of see what progresses next. What problems may arise if anybody were to pop up and say, hey, we don't have enough workers or we don't have enough resources, things like that. And we will just sit here and watch and see what they come up with. So we'll put this into a little bit of hyperspeed for a second and see what happens. If I'll click the right button. Yeah, we'll put this into hyperspeed here and just see what happens. Okay, so just like that, we've got a worker problem popping up. We need more people. What's great about that is we have more demand. So we're gonna go ahead and zone the rest of this block here and get some more of the more of the uh, sims into the city make some more room for more people to live here and as we do that we will get more workers for our commercial and industrial work, uh, areas hey look at that we've already hit our first landmark so now we have the ability to control taxes loans garbage which will become a problem healthcare which will become a problem and education and campuses which will stick with education at this point kind of low grade so we'll have the ability to build in medical medical clinics, a landfill site, which is kind of one of the most um, rudimentary ways to handle our garbage, but it'll be the option that we have right now. We'll have the ability to build elementary schools, uh, recycling centers, which will be a little bit less efficient, but will be a cleaner way of handling our garbage. And we'll have a, the ability to build uh, community schools, elementary schools, and a different style of medical clinic as well. So we will let this run a little more. And as we get more sims in, hopefully, like we've seen this disappear, we'll see more worker icons begin to disappear. So a big part of our industry work at workers is going to be education. So now that we have this together, we're going to run this straight on through so that our education will reach. And we're going to go ahead and get an education hub rocking. Education hub. I think I need to coin that phrase. All right, so we want to try to build this as centric as we can. You'll see that there's a little bit of shaded green there if we place it right here. So we're gonna go with just that right there, and that'll take care of educating our Sims at the earliest stages of their life, the elementary age. So, and now that we've met some more of the needs, and you'll see uh, the worker need for the industry has disappeared now that we've satisfied commercial, because a lot of people are wanting to work at commercial places more than they are the industry. All right, we have a, a demand for power now. You see, as we click on the electrical menu, or electricity menu, um, it'll show our electricity availability up here. Um, the one flaw to wind power is that it does vary based on wind speed. So you wanna build it in the highest possible areas, but um, that still doesn't de demand or guarantee that you'll always have that level of power um, as you build. So we'll go ahead and build two of those so we've got way more than enough uh, power. And we'll let it sim for a little while longer. Uh, actually, it looks like already we're getting some more demand in for our for some more sims. More peeps want to come live in our city, which is great news. Uh, we are getting a demand for a uh, landfill, so we're getting or for a trash at least. So we're gonna try to for now. Oh, look at that! Already up to our next level. So now we have the ability to uh, expand our area. We have the ability to create districts and policies, which are big with uh, the way that we manage our city. Uh, allows us to create a second loan, which is um, just money access if we were to be in a really bad area, which we're doing well financially. Um, district special specializations and services policies. Allows us to handle emergency services, uh, like the fire department and disaster services. The police department, unique buildings, 
uh, forestry and agriculture specializations, self-sufficient buildings uh, as a specialization for our residential areas, organic and local produce. Um, allows us to have power usage, water usage, and smoke detector distribution policies, and gives us new buildings with our emergency services. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this landfill plopped over here for now. That will probably be the most, it is very basic and very high pollution, um, and they will fill up and not be well taken, or it won't be like a great resource for our city, but um, it will take care of the, the basic needs for trash. All right, we need, we've now expanded our streets, so we need to expand our water lines and water coverage. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. We'll just plug this guy back in here. There we go. And guys, while we're kind of waiting on this to sim a little bit more, um, just want to mention big reason or big big part of what I do is I play uh, City Skylines mostly on um, Twitch. So I typically play, you'll see the link popping up uh, over that way just kidding I mean I'm new to this YouTube thing but you'll see a link down there and um, typically we stream Monday Wednesday Friday in the mornings uh, Eastern Standard Time in the US uh, which I believe is five minus five GMT uh, and then we also stream Tuesday and Thursday evenings so um, definitely come check us out we've been streaming for a few months now and uh, getting some things going we've got an awesome community and makes watching us play cities a lot more fun and uh, we do a lot more complex uh, builds and have a lot more fun than we do um, just with kind of going through the tutorials here. So if this is all well under your understanding of the game and you uh, you know way more about this game, come hang out with us and see if it'd be fun to uh, be a part of our community. So we're going to go ahead and just keep bringing this guy on out. I like to just uh, you know keep with the grid pattern, but also still just kind of mix up the patterns of the street a little bit here and there, just to kind of help. We don't need roads just yet, but we're doing well on money, so we can afford to build them. So we're gonna let this sim for a little while longer and see what problems or uh, things may arise next. All right, guys. So we've hit our next landmark at a thousand, um, a thousand sims in our city, a thousand population. So we have the ability to build park areas, industry areas, landscaping, um, event policies, park policies. We can build uh, parks and plazas. We can go with industry areas. So what you'll see now, um, in just a second, is things are going to get kind of crazy. So mostly all of our parks, uh, waterways. Um, Let's see, anything else really? It's mostly parks and things, kind of just growing into a bigger city. We can go up into high schools and universities, fishing, all types of different types of things. Obviously, those are all based on the different DLCs that you have. We have pretty much, I think we have every DLC that there is, so you're seeing everything pretty much that you can unlock at those points. Um, so we're seeing our demand increase on our citizens, our residential area, so we're going to go ahead and plop a little bit more zoning for that. And then... As we become uh, a little bit further along in our city, people are going to be expecting more of our city that, as far as healthcare coverage. And of course, as people move into our city, live here a while longer, things like that, you're going to see the demand for that type of stuff increase just because uh, naturally they, they have more health issues, things like that. So um, we're going to go with our health there. We need to get a fire department over here. We also need a fire department in our industries area. So we'll go ahead and build that as well. Keep that over there so everything's good. And then we also need to go ahead and get police. Now, there's not demand for these things right now in our city, but what will why it will benefit us to go ahead and build it is because the faster that we, or the more, the more of these resources that we have, the more desirable we are for people that are moving in. So we're gonna go ahead and go like right here at this edge of this intersection. And we were able to build all that just straight off the bank. And we should hopefully still have a surplus in the city. So we'll kind of see how things go. Um, we want to make sure, even though we just built all those services, we want to make sure that we stay stable on our finances. So we'll go right here. Go ahead and connect in these, these water lines. Get these new sims all taken care of. Power seems to be rolling along just fine with the network that we have. We are starting to get close to using that up. So just while we're looking at it, um, let's keep an eye on that. Well, here, we'll go ahead and go here. We'll see pop-ups if we start having issues. So let's simulate this for just a few minutes, uh, a few seconds longer here and see where we end up. 
All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We've had our first couple pop-ups here uh, for power. So we're going to start working on, uh, we're probably going to have to take our first loan. So let's hit pause real quick before that becomes too much of an issue. Uh, especially in the industry area, they will start packing their things and getting out of Dodge if finances aren't together. Or I'm sorry, if I clicked on finances if their um, power isn't taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, take a $20,000 loan. We're going to go build some more power. And that, that's gonna allow us, we could build three off that loan, but we're gonna just build two because that should be all that we really need. We're gonna try to work these in where we're getting the most, we're just really maximizing the power output. There we go, so that should pretty quickly jump us right up. Yep, oh man, didn't jump us up as much as I thought it would, but jump us up to where we need to be, which is the important part. There we go. All right, so that satisfied the needs, at least for now, of our Sims. And now we can afford another one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and build that here. It'll connect into the water line and then push power through the power lines on into the city. There we go. All right, so that's taken care of now. So now our electrical consumption is about 38 to, to 40 megawatts. Um, and we've got 64 of output. So we're gonna sit here and watch our city and see what happens to our demand down here, which is what we're watching and our city as a whole, see if we have any complaints or issues. And we'll just watch this for a second and see where we end up next. All right guys, so taking a look here, we are still doing very well financially, um, but we do need to take care of this demand. So we've got a huge demand for more commercial and more residential. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause before that even gets way too high. Let me go ahead and go here. And we'll go ahead and have an intersection here as well. So a big part of this is making sure we don't have too many intersections too close. You'll see I have an attached here and we only have one intersection coming out here as well until we get to the first road for our industry. So we're gonna go right there and we are still hurting for money pretty good, aren't we? Um, let's see if we can take care of some of our commercial here. And here here and then you'll see that I'm kind of keeping that along that main corridor because that's where the traffic is ah that's not what we wanted all right pro tip so while you're zoning you can hold right click and that'll D zone rather than having to actually go down into the menu and click in the D zone option so we're going to go ahead and go here and build some more residential and then we're gonna go here as well and we're gonna stay one block off of this road because we, we already know we want to continue it and we don't want to waste any of our demand right now uh, and we'll probably go something like that and we'll stay one block off here as well now We may expand these roads, but we don't know yet. So there's no reason to prevent doing that right now And we'll Go ahead and go with all of this as residential as well because we have so much demand for it All right now the next issue is water. So we're gonna have a water issue here Let's See how much water we can build at the exact moment. We are pretty tight on money, but we know we're good financially so doesn't hurt us to build it that should cover us while they're starting to move in because they're gonna start moving in closer to these roads here they may build a little closer here just because they because of these residential coming in but we'll see and we're gonna get pretty good financially pretty quick so we will keep going here yep yeah, let's go ahead and get a little more water line here we go so now that'll cover everything that we need and we can kind of just sit back and watch and see how they do. Alright guys, so now we're already back to up to 1800 in pop. So we're starting to unlock more transit options, another block if we want to expand the ore industry specialization, a lot of new policies for our city to kind of specialize in a lot of different things, new intersections and new road types. Uh, we've also got the heating pipe for the snowfall DLC, but we won't mess with that here in this tutorial. And a lot of different healthcare and uh, disaster type, healthcare, tra more transport type uh, buildings, warehouses for our industry, all those sort of things. So first thing I want to do here, we've made we've got a huge chunk of money because of the upgrade. So I want to go ahead and expand our industry area there. Uh, we'll probably just go ahead and zone one more little block here. That might be too much for now, but industry, we haven't had a problem with retaining people, so we'll be all right. And 
what else could we do? I think that'll do it for now. So we will sit back and watch and see how things go. We just keep getting better and better financially. So that's great news. And uh, yeah, let's see where this goes from here. Alright guys, so look in here, you'll see that our demand for residential is going up pretty good. Again, uh, people want to see us build some more homes so they can move into our city. So we're going to do just that. We're going to go right here, we're going to keep with our grid system. And we'll go with something like this. We'll lose a couple houses here, but the road connectivity is super important here. So we'll go ahead and go a little further out here. Probably just take us up to like the 3600 Sims mark, where we become that next city level. And we'll go with a little something like that. We have more demand than we can ever imagine. So let's go ahead and go with something like this. Now something you want to be careful of is overzoning, like I've just done a little bit here. I don't want to waste it though. Yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay for the sake of this tutorial, but you do want to be careful with overzoning. Uh, when you overzone, you do create a possibility for death waves. It's, it's kind of commonly known among the community. Okay, so we've got a power issue right away. So we've got a power and a water issue because we haven't laid water. So that's the only issue we have there. We should still have plenty of availability to cover them. So we're good there. But power-wise, we do need to figure out something. Our power consumption is going to be higher right now than our um, production is. So go with something like this and we'll we're really good financially so we're gonna just keep rolling that should take care of us for now though we don't want to overspend just in case we have a need come up so let's see kind of how things go we'll just put it into hyper speed here and see how they build let's take a look at it from this perspective here yeah so let's take a look and just see how quickly they can build actually guys hold on here really quickly we need to connect these guys in um, so what we may need to do just because of the way we zoned this and how we got ahead of ourselves a smidge we'll go ahead and go with a little bit of power line like that we don't have anything zoned there yet but it'll help bridge the gap until our demand starts filling in here we, we put this area on the market first if you will so this is where they're wanting to build and they will fill in here as this demand uh, keeps going on up so the only real problems we have outside of the power which is just because it's not connected which will resolve as soon as we play is this one guy that's over here saying he needs some more gyms to come work sorry if your name's Jim just the name I randomly picked so anywho we're gonna go ahead and get back to simming here and get this caught up a bit like I said we'll probably take it up to the 3600 mark that's where we're at a pretty stable city at that point and um, if you follow this tutorial you should find yourself in a pretty good spot financially as well to be able to maintain that and uh, take care of things so anyways we're gonna check that out let's see what where we go All right, so you see, we went ahead and got rid of that power line there. We don't need it anymore because we've got houses that are bridging the gap for the power system. Uh, we've got a pretty good demand for industry, so we're gonna go ahead and soon. We'll kind of we're, we're gonna try to stay as far away as we can for now until we decide to expand away from the city a bit. And we'll go there, and we've got some commercial demand as well. So we'll go ahead and, not a lot, but we'll go ahead and try to eat up what we do have, and we'll go ahead and go something like that. All right. So now that should help satisfy them to feel like they've got ample space to grow. Uh, let's see kind of how our police coverage is looking. Still pretty solid. Take a look at our fire. Still pretty solid. Healthcare is pretty solid. Let's see what education looks like. Okay, so we need some education for these peeps. They want an elementary school. I'm going to build a different type of elementary just to kind of mix things up a smidge. There we go. That'll make them very happy. Other ways to boost your demand. Sorry for the mic bump. Um, Another way to boost your demand is going to be to build in parks and things of that nature. So um, anything that boosts land value, anything that would uh, normally boost your land value or that you can imagine boost land value will help to improve um, as well. So yeah, we'll go back into super simming for a second and see where we're at.
All right, guys, so you'll hear these sounds, and I'll try to find one really quickly. Like this guy right here, you'll see a green arrow that pops up. That That is these buildings upgrading. So if you saw that building right there, so this house just upgraded. So it hasn't upgraded yet, but let's take a look. So right now we've got a pretty basic duplex. Man, that sound is loud. It is loud down on these streets. So we've got a pretty basic duplex, but if we watch, it'll actually upgrade now without me doing anything. It's just because the demand is there, and they're so happy with where they are. And now we've got a nice next level little building. So it should be a level two now. Yep, moving on up. Try to watch for some of these guys up here too as well. So what that does when they upgrade, that allows for more room for the, for or more Sims effectively is the best way to put it. So we're gonna zone a little bit more. What I'm doing is I'm zoning a lot of our commercial along this main corridor. So this corridor is where traffic is traveling from the residential and some of these commercial areas on through into our indus industry area. So that helps to um, kind of boost that the traffic flow in front of that commercial. We'll go ahead and zone this block here as well. We're not gonna expand any other blocks here, but it kind of helps to show as we build. And we'll be able to zone right here and it'll probably take us up pretty quickly to our 3600. We're already gonna pretty much be there. And that'll unlock our next level and complete our tutorial. So, should be pretty darn quick here. Let's take it up to speed and see where how quickly we can get there. Boom, boom, there we go, busy town. All right guys, so that'll do it for us here, but I hope you took some uh, kind of notes or kind of picked up something from the way that I kind of lay out my cities from the very beginning. You'll notice we had pretty good traffic flow. But we only had 3,600 people living there, so I can't brag too much on that. Um, but yeah, this uh, with Busy Town and 3,600, you'll unlock all types of stuff. And we're starting to get to the point where we can just keep building and building and building. So. Anywho, hopefully this lays a good ground groundwork for you for um, kind of how to build a city and you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please uh, definitely give me that thumbs up, give me a subscribe, a follow, all that kind of stuff that we do here on the YouTube. <laughs> and uh, if you really, really enjoyed it, then I would love for you to come over and check out that hyperlink over there sometime. Give us a follow and um, make sure those notifications are on and you can see whenever we are live and playing cities um, at a big scale. So we do all kinds of cool stuff, all kinds of simulation games. Uh, we specialize mostly on city skylines, but we play all kinds of stuff. You never know when you might come through and see us uh, get a notification that we're playing Warzone or um, Age of Empires, Farm Simulator, I think. I don't think I've ever played that on stream. I don't really like to play it a whole ton myself anyways, but I've played it from here and there. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've learned a little something and picked up some skills that you can use in game. And uh, like I said, come by, hang out. If you liked me here, you'll definitely love it when we're all hanging out. We've got tons of community, tons of chat and everything going on. Um, I, I truly believe the City Skylines community is one of the most awesome ones on all of Twitch. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Leave me some comments, constructive feedback on uh, better ways we can make the videos, maybe even things that you'd like to see us cover. Um, and I would love to help out. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys later.